Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and since 1996, I've been helping families buy homes when they didn't have the cash to pay for it by providing home mortgage financing. One of my favorite things about the job is that I get to learn something new every day. Guidelines are constantly changing and no two applications are the same. So if you'd like to learn more about the exciting world of mortgage financing, please keep watching and I hope you enjoy. If you're in the market to purchase a home, you may be wondering who pays for closing costs. Typically, buyers and sellers each pay their own closing costs. A home buyer is likely to pay between 2 and 5% of their loan amount in closing costs, while the seller could pay 5 to 6% of the sales price to their real estate agent. In this video, we will share what you should know about closing costs. When you buy a home, there are closing costs. These are costs that go above what you are paying for your down payment. Closing costs are your out-of-pocket fees used for items like getting your home loan, having the house appraised, getting the title transferred into your name, and so on. Your closing costs can range between 2 and 5% of your loan amount. This means if you're taking out a $200,000 mortgage loan, closing costs could range from $4,000 to $10,000. The amount a home buyer has to pay in closing costs can vary a lot depending on the home price, location, and other factors. Typical closing costs paid by the buyer include origination fee. This is the fee from your lender used to set up and process your application, verify your documents, underwrite, and close your loan. There's also an appraisal fee, and this is the fee to have your home appraised. Title search and title insurance fees ensure that your new home's title is clear and no one else can claim rights to the home or property. Title insurance provides protection against undiscovered claims. Some home loans require an upfront fee to insure or guarantee the mortgage. Government-backed home loans like FHA, VA, and USDA mortgages all have an upfront fee though you can roll this fee into your loan amount instead of paying it at closing. Discount points let you buy a lower interest rate by paying an extra fee at closing. Escrow is set up so that you prepay money that will be placed in an escrow account and dispersed as necessary to pay for your property taxes and homeowner's insurance. You will also have your down payment due at closing, but this typically is not thought of as a closing cost. Any earnest money you paid when you made an offer on the house will be credited towards your down payment at closing. The type of mortgage you choose can also have a big effect on your closing costs, and the biggest of these is mortgage insurance. Mortgage insurance, or MI, is only paid when you put less than 20% down to buy the home. The mortgage insurance helps protect the lender. Most mortgage insurance is paid with your monthly payment and considered an annual payment. However, there are some loan programs that also have an initial mortgage insurance premium that is called an upfront mortgage insurance premium and may be due at closing as well. Let's look at some of these types of programs with upfront mortgage insurance. The first program is FHA home loans, which require annual mortgage insurance and an upfront insurance fee. The upfront mortgage insurance premium, or UFMIP, is equal to 1.75% of the loan amount, or $1,750 for every $100,000 borrowed. Despite its name, FHA upfront mortgage insurance doesn't have to be paid at closing. Most borrowers roll this cost into their loan amount rather than pay it with cash. Rolling upfront mortgage insurance premium into your loan will greatly reduce your closing costs, but it does mean you'll pay interest on the fee over the life of the loan. VA loans do not require annual mortgage insurance, but they do require a one-time funding fee due at closing. For first-time home buyers, the VA funding fee is usually equal to 2.3% of the loan amount. Buyers who've used a VA loan before will pay 3.6% of their loan amount. If you make a down payment of 5% or more, the VA funding fee is reduced. VA homebuyers also have the option to roll this fee into their loan amount 
instead of paying it along with their closing costs. Like the FHA loan, the USDA Home Loan Program requires both an upfront mortgage insurance fee and an annual one. USDA's upfront fee is equal to 1% of the loan amount and can be added to the mortgage balance to reduce closing costs. It's important to be aware of all the costs associated with buying a home so that you have enough money to pay your closing costs. If you're not sure, check with your lender. They will cover your closing costs and your options. There are several costs to be aware of when buying a home, so be sure to work with your lender and make sure you know what you need to bring in to closing. Hi, I'm Lori McMortgage, and I help people buy homes when they don't have the cash to pay for it. If it's your first home, your next home, or your rental home, my team and I will make sure you have the right financing in place and the process is smooth and easy. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video and please reach out to us at the information provided. We can't wait to talk to you.